There's all sorts of different lighting options based off of what you want. You just have to make sure it matches. No disco balls if you're trying to do a relaxing massage. That doesn't quite match up so well. You know this move, the one where you have your hand underneath it because you can't put a whole strawberry in your mouth and the chocolate's gonna break off of it? That move. And then you're like, spare yourself, just chop it up in advance, dip it all the little individual pieces and just use a little toothpick, nice and simple. If somebody is ticklish, I strongly, strongly recommend using broad pressure, like your whole hand or multiple fingers to massage, rather than like a light, soft, ticklish touch, which is more likely to make somebody squirm and kick their feet. And trust and believe you don't want to get kicked in the face during a foot massage. That hurts. Don't do that. Mm -mm -mm. Friends, raise your hands and repeat after me. I promise to never send an unsolicited picture of my penis to a woman. Say it again. I promise to never send an unsolicited picture of my penis to a woman. Could it be? It's an Emmy. Emmy has decided to come and join us for the last little bit of coffee today. So like I might use this as like a dominant mad hatter who like, I don't know, maybe I've trapped the white rabbit and now I'm going to interrogate him to find out where he's hidden my teapot. It's one thing to be like, what are you wearing? That's hot. Okay, now what? What happens next? She's in a bra. It's hot. Where are you going to go from there, champ? We don't talk about Lola. No, no, no. We don't talk about Lola. I'm sorry, who? Don't know her. See it in a port and think it's hot? Point at it. Write it down. Be like, F yeah, I'm going to try that crazy position in which she's bent over like a lawnmower on that couch. Heck yeah. Except maybe I'm going to put a pillow under her head in case she slips because this is real life and not, you know, porn magic. And People don't really levitate like that. How cool would that be for like a, like a, um, a rough body where like the zombie arises and then the morgue worker has to take down and tie the zombie down and... I don't know, it's a sexy role play, and so I guess the only way to deactivate the zombie is give the zombie an orgasm. I don't know. I think it's hotter to use your words personally, but if you are interested in using emojis, just make sure to understand what they mean, because a lot of them have some pretty surprising meanings, friends. They don't mean what you think they mean. The eggplant isn't an actual eggplant in this scenario. Just, just so you know. Bork, bork, bork. My attack dog will get you if you don't tell. Bork, bork, bork. You will be subject to borking torture and licks and kisses. Oh no, oh no. You're gonna be kissed to death. Oh no. What? I'm gonna kiss torture you and bark torture you. What? You will be attacked by 50 million tiny little loud what? chihuahuas. Yes, bork, 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 bork. I did design this little coffee mug for the goats. I've got like... A whole little Shopify now for the goats with goat merch and super cute stuff. Make sure to follow. Follow my goats. Go follow my goats. I'm very proud of my goats. The one to three yeses. Good pacing. Very hot. Seven to 27. No. Stop while you're ahead. That's too many yeses. No, 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 no. What do we say to people who have nasty reactions? We put them in timeout. Bye! I'm going to raw play Bob the Builder, so I'm going to get dressed up in a men's shirt and slacks and a little yellow construction hat. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? I don't know, I just, I just think that would be a ridiculous role play for some reason. Can we fix it? I think we can. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Alice. For those of you who are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Alice Little, and I am an intimacy expert, companion, and educator, and this is my morning coffee show where we get to discuss different topics about intimacy each week and share a cup of coffee. Cheers. As a very important reminder, friends, we need to keep the chat PG-13. So, PG-13, keep it reasonable, keep it calm, love and appreciate you all, but I want to be able to continue to spend time with you all on YouTube, so if we get too dirty, we won't be able to do this anymore, so let's keep it clean, you know, which is why we're going to talk about corn this week. Corn, as in the vegetable. You know what's up. But before we do that, there are a few special announcements to get us started with. First, my new website is live! A complete relaunch of thealicelittle.com is fully in the works. I've got new articles, a new layout, I've even got new galleries up there. So there are photos that you have never seen anywhere else now posted on my website. So you'll definitely want to go check that out. I'm going to go ahead and leave that here in the chat for you all, so you can click that little link at your convenience. And to celebrate the new website, my only friends is completely free for the first time today only. So if you've been waiting to join me on only friends, now is the time to do that. Let me go ahead and leave that link for you all as well. Again, only friends, free, 24 hours only. So seriously, come and join me because I will be live on Only Friends tonight for Cocktails with Alice. If you think coffee is fun, oh, you better see me when I get a drink or two under my belt because things tend to get wild and crazy. I am so excited to celebrate the new website launch tonight with you all. So hopefully I will see you there. Speaking of seeing you, I would love to spend some time with you in person at the Chicken Ranch. I will be available September 13th through 18th exclusively at the Chicken Ranch. So if you would like to spend some time with me face to face and skin to skin, Alice Little at thealicelittle.com and we'll be able to make that happen. Sound fun? I think it sounds fun. As a reminder, I am able to see everything that you all have to share with me in the chat in real time. So if you have any questions at all, just drop them right below in the chat and I will get to them just as quick as I can. Keep in mind that there is a Q&A section at the end, so if I don't get to your question right away, no worries. I will always revisit them before we part ways at the very end. Next, we have a few people to say thank you to. These folks are my Patreon patrons. They make this content possible. For those who have been here before, I'm sure you've noticed that the backdrop is slowly changing and I'm upgrading my studio space here with a new look, which I'm so excited about. And that would not be possible without my Patreon patrons. So this week, I'm saying thank you to Jean. Rudy, and Ron. Thank you all so, 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 so much. I really, really appreciate you. Now, who's ready for some corn? Me, I'm ready for corn. I love corn. Now, before we start talking about corn, it's important to note we're not discussing the vegetable. So please, read between the lines, interpret into what I am saying. Yes, the jokes are indeed very, very intentional. Corn's great. Corn's fantastic. 
popcorn can do so much for your intimacy life. It can help, it can inspire, but it can also really hurt. So today, we're taking a deep dive into the world wide web of pornography. I feel like that's some sort of dance move, pornography. It's like voguing, I feel like, pornography. It would be like this, I feel like it would be the dance move, something like that. You know, shake, wake, shake, wait, action. That's the pornography move right there. So, as many people know, Corn is everywhere. It's all over the web these days. It is unavoidable. Everybody has probably seen corn at some point in their life, whether they've intentionally gone to a website and clicked it or had a pop-up ad thrust in their face by some sort of virus software. You've seen corn if you are on the internet in 2022. It's a fact. But corn isn't just all like annoying pop-up ads. It can actually really help your intimate life starting with the opportunity to discover new kinks and fetishes. How do you know what you're into if you haven't had a chance to see it? Corn is the number one way that people discover new proclivities and interests. They're clicking through, they see a thumbnail that looks interesting, maybe a shiny shoe or a close-up of like a really intimate act, and they're like, oh, ooh, that's got me feeling a certain way here, click. And then the next thing you know, it's an opportunity for some self-discovery and you may discover, hey, you're really into shoes or something. It allows you to broaden your horizons. When you see a multitude of different bodies doing different things together in all sorts of different scenarios, it allows you to believe that you too can make those sorts of things happen. Really, everyone is out there doing it. It is possible, it is real, it is tangible. It lets you realize everything that is possible. Maybe you never thought of having a five or more sum before or a rubber situation where you're being dominated by multiple women like Oh my gosh, it really just like lets you discover so many things you may not have ever thought of trying or wanting to do before. It also normalizes being vocal during intimacy. I don't know if you've watched corn, but one of the first things that people do when they're trying to be very secretive about watching corn is they turn the volume down because that shit's loud. If you know they are going to be vocal. And guess what? It's very normal to be vocal during intimacy. Corn helps to normalize that. Yes, moan and groan and communicate with your partner. Tell them exactly how you like your corn cob knobbed or cooked or shaked. Yeah, yeah. It allows kind of a modeling almost. Like how do you ask your partner for them to touch your corn's cob? Well, corn is a really good way to learn how to ask somebody for that because they're gonna be like, oh yeah, baby, suck my corn cob. Like they're vocalizing these things and it gives you an idea like, oh, I can use my words to ask for the things that I'm into. It's also really fun because it allows you something to watch with a partner. Like, it can tremendously boost your intimate life just by putting it on and watching it with your partner and talking about the things you like and the things you don't like and what you think is hot and what you want to try. Use it. Use it as a leaping point. It is so much fun and there's so much of it out there. But if you're going to consume corn Please, 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 please consume corn ethically. That means paying for your corn. You wouldn't walk into the grocery store, take the corn off the shelf, put it into your bag and go home without paying for it. Please do not steal pornography. Only Friends is a wonderful, wonderful way to support pornographic activity by supporting corn actors and actresses directly. This way, 
they see the majority of the benefit for the corn that they are working so hard and long to cook because there's lots of steps that go into creating corn. It's very involved. Lots of lots of steps in the recipe. Y'all y'all get the get the joke here. God, I hope so. <laughs> Somebody who doesn't get this is going to be very confused. They're like, "Well, she didn't discuss how to do creamed corn." No, cuz this isn't really a cooking show. Roll with it. Just go with it, please. God. Mm. All right, let's see what's happening in the chat and if y'all are behaving yourselves here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, let's see if the chat loads. God, nothing wants to cooperate with me today in real time. Hey, there we go. Uh, yeah, nope, I did not bring an actual corn on the cob. The thought did cross my mind. Unfortunately, Instacart could not get groceries to my front doorstep before coffee this morning. I did look and try though. I really wanted to have like two ears of corn to just, you know, go to town with for this. <sighs> alas, alas. I know, like maybe, maybe one day as a special bonus, I'll do like a whole like video actually talking about corn. Maybe, maybe I'll even do a whole like only friends video where it's like me sucking on corn, but it's actually just me eating like some corn on the cob or something. Y'all be careful, because I'll actually give you what you ask for. I'm just sarcastic enough to do it. So let's get back into it. Corn can help, right? It can definitely help. But at the same time, corn can really F you up, man. Corn can do a whole lot of damage to your intimate life. Eating and consuming too much corn can actually lead to erectile dysfunction issues. Corn-induced erectile dysfunction, P-I-E-D. We're swapping the C for what the P, you, you know where I'm going with this by now, God. Anyway, P-I-E-D, corn-induced erectile dysfunction is a very real consequence of abusing pornography. Here's what happens. You're watching it, and you're watching it, and you've got 15 tabs open, and you're just kind of like not paying any attention to how hard and how rough you're being with your corn cob. And the next thing you know, you're like kind of crushing your corn cob in your fist, and like kernels are flying everywhere, and like you're actually really hurting your corn cob. And the biggest danger is not just hurting your corn cob, but now, when somebody like myself goes to handle your corn cob, my hand isn't going to be able to squeeze your corn cob as hard as you can. And I'm not going to be able to get your corn cob hard. It's not going to... It's not going to get hard for me. Because it's now expecting pornography and a certain degree of firm shucking that I... I know my body I'm going to be able to recreate. So you really need to be thoughtful and mindful while you are watching this stuff. It's fantastic, but don't abuse it. Corn is important to understand is not education. It's entertainment. It's there to entertain you, not educate you. The majority of the time, pornography is showing something for the camera. So like it's going to be positioned a certain way, posed, and maybe even set in a way that you normally never would in real life. People don't do those positions angled towards a camera lens. They do those positions angled towards their partner's body. And that's what you want to be doing. Pleasuring your partner, not catering to a camera lens. One of the biggest mistakes is trying to exactly replicate the positions that you see corn stars do. Those positions don't actually feel good for the corn stars. They don't make anyone's cornhole feel good. Don't, don't do that. It doesn't feel good for the cornhole or the corn cob. It's bad all the way around. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Um, another, another big thing is that uh, pornography tends to show some pretty, 
pretty intense things happening with corn cobs and corn holes, like lots of intensity, like slamming corn cobs into corn holes, ripping the corn cob out of the corn hole and then sticking it back in and then ripping it back out, sticking it back in as hard as possible and as fast as possible. And that doesn't feel good to the corn hole. That doesn't feel good to anybody. In fact, that kind of too hard, too fast, too rough really is just being done for the camera and not for anybody's pleasure. This is one of those scenarios in which the entertainment value, that suspension of belief is really what's happening here. Because let me tell you, if somebody grabs my hair and tries to like bend me backwards into some sort of contorted C shape as if I don't have a spine, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to say, ow, because that hurts. And that's not actually how people like really do it in real life. Like if you're having to hold on to your partner's body in order to get enough like leverage against their cornhole, you're probably being a little bit too rough and it's probably because you've watched too much pornography. I strongly recommend changing your corn consuming habits to romantic Corn. There's a whole genre. It's called romance corn. It's even branded for your consumption. It's fabulous. It's a little bit more realistic and it's a little bit more based in reality. It's really beautiful too. A lot of the time it's like a little bit more artsy and pretty, less like blah, crazy, like way more reasonable. And finally, it's important to talk about that pornography does have a tendency to promote unrealistic body, body standards. Gentlemen, they don't look like that in real life. Their corn cobs are not that long. No one's corn cob is really that long. That's a camera trick. And if it's not a camera trick, it's medication and artificial enhancement. Some people are genuinely blessed. I mean, God bless them. That does exist. But let me just, just say as a professional, Nobody actually really wants like the mega whopper that's a little bit too much for most folks. Um, right in the middle is beautiful. Yeah, like don't don't let corn give you the wrong idea that your corn cob is supposed to be monstrous. And like, ladies, yeah, the, the body types are really unrealistic too. Either you're like stick thin or you're BBW super curvy. And there's like no real body type in between, which is really unfortunate. A lot of corn stars have had plastic surgery and it's not okay to compare yourself to them. It's unrealistic. And like, don't compare your partners to them either. That's not nice. Like corn stars are wonderful. Corn stars are great. I love corn stars, but like they're not there for comparison. Don't, don't do that to yourself and don't do that to the people you care about either. It's not nice. And also, like, don't do that to corn stars either, by the way. Like, don't be shitty to corn stars about their body. A lot of people think it's somehow okay to comment on a corn star's body because they're a performer. It's not. It's still not okay. You still need to treat them with respect. Please. It's, it's really important. Oh, God, are we all children of the corn? Trample pet, yes. Yes, we are. Welcome to Children of the Corn Stream. That's that's where we are right now. Yep, corn is wrestling for adults at Churis. Uh, nope, nobody gives two shucks about that at all. Yep, it really is unnecessary censorship, but like, really, like, I'm just gonna roll with it for now. We're only a few weeks away from like the little strikes falling off my other channel, so we'll be able to re migrate eventually to the main channel. But in the meantime, I don't want anything taken down. So we're going to keep it clean, as clean as possible here while talking about pornography and all. So we know it can help. We know corn can hurt. Let's now talk a little bit about how pornography can inspire your intimate life. Corn is a beautiful launching point for any numbers, fetishes, fantasies, interests, desires, if you see it in corn and can show your partner that thing and say, I want to try that, there's a chance that you get to make it happen. You literally can pull up any scenario under the sun that you are able to find on the World Wide Web, share it with your partner and say, this, 
I'm not sure how to describe this, but this is that thing I want to try. Maybe they're into it, maybe they're not into it, but it gives you the opportunity to kind of start somewhere, show them something rather than just trying to describe it if you're lacking the words. Corn also allows you to have like something kind of fun and sexy going in the background when you're having fun with your partner. Like, think about what it sounds like and then imagine that going on in the background while you're having fun and, like, the sound of what's happening can kind of inspire what you're doing as well. Like, they're doing something really hot and heavy and you're doing something really hot and heavy and then you hear something and then you respond to it. Like, that back and forth is something that's really fun to play with and can really inspire and change the way that you have connective adult fun times with your partner and your corn cobs in your cornholes. It's really wonderful, actually. Um, other ways that corn can help to inspire is costuming, costuming, creativity, lingerie, gosh, anything that somebody could be wearing, you're able to literally just go through corn and be like, that's hot, that's hot, that's hot, want that outfit, want one of those, want to do that little sexy role play number right there, reel into that. Yep, I'm into the farmer role play. Really want to explore that with my partner at home. And it kind of lets you build like a laundry list of all the different fun things that you could potentially try. I I like it. I really like to use it for inspiration. I'm like, hmm, I don't know what I want to do. I want something different. I don't want to like fall into the same lull. Corn. Corn, corn, corn. Go right to corn. It's great. It's very versatile. There's all sorts of corn. There's 10,000 different corn sites. And like I said, you're always able to support pornographers directly through their only friends, which I strongly recommend. Reminder, by the way, my only friends is free for the next 48 hours only. First and only time I'm doing that, by the way, like just to celebrate the new site. So hopefully y'all enjoy. So corn, corn's awesome. I love corn. I I'm gonna jump back into the chat here. And let's see what kind of fun questions we have about corn here. How do you watch corn safely? Um, private browser. Don't install anything. Um, only friends is a great way to watch corn very safely. Um, it doesn't have like pop-ups or anything like a lot of the free sites do. Keep in mind, by the way, that you're always gonna pay for your corn whether you realize it or not. Like. If it's free, there's probably ads all over the place. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's much better to support pornographers and corn performers directly. Only Friends really was a game changer for the corn world and really for the entire, like, adult entertainment industry because it finally allowed, like, direct support in a way that's really cool. Let's see. I guess incognito mode. Is pH safe? Uh, I mean, I've gotten pop-ups before from cruising, from cruising on, like, pH. So I'd say, eh, questionable. Like, I, I'm not sure if that's one that I would um, necessarily support. Oh, Jack, yes. People making body shaming comments really is just more about them than the other person. 100%. Like, I just find it really upsetting setting the amount of negativity that corn stars tend to receive online because other people view them as being inhuman, as being kind of totemic or iconic of something that they can't have but would like to have. And so they vent a lot of their personal frustrations out on corn stars and that's not okay. That's not fair. Like corn stars deserve to be treated so so much better than they are in society and we're slowly but surely getting there. I mean I think it's really important that everybody in the industry takes care of and cares about everybody else in the industry because we are all in this together and many of my colleagues at the ranch are corn stars. Some of my personal friends are corn stars. In fact I even appeared in one whole pornographic film for a uh, Oh gosh, it was for, uh, was it Kink Academy? Kink Academy back in the day. That was super fun. Only, only professional corn I have ever done and probably the only professional corn I will ever do, in fact. Alrighty, friends. 
Let's see if we have any other questions here. Oh, what do I prefer, cornflakes or Cocoa Puffs? Come on, I love Cocoa Puffs. Totally team Cocoa Puffs, but unfortunately, I got to do the knockoff ones that are gluten-free. Yeah. Yeah, that tends to be the uh, the thing, unfortunately. Oh, uh, how do you prevent getting viruses? Um, good antivirus software on your computer. Um, if anybody else, by the way, has better advice, feel free to jump in always. Like, I am certainly no, like, security expert. Like, that's not my title at all. I do my best, though, but, um... No, not a not a security expert. There are plenty of other little hats, though, you know. Content creator, YouTuber, companion, all sorts of fun stuff. Well, everyone, thank you so, so much for joining me for coffee today. If you have not already, give this video a like and then subscribe to this channel. This will be my backup channel. I will still continue to post content on here even after... I migrate back to my main channel, so definitely stay subscribed so you don't miss anything that I have to share here. Final reminder, my only friends is free today, so if you've ever wanted to join me for Cocktails with Alice, I will be live tonight exclusively through Only Friends, and hopefully I will get to see you there. Thank you all so, so much for joining me. I will see you all tonight on Only Friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye.